Hello friends, welcome to Tech Advice. Today uh, in this video, I'm going to teach you that how can you load CSV file from uh, cloud or GCP platform. Uh, so friends, uh, first of all, if you are watching this video first time, so please subscribe my channel and uh, watch this video till the end. So you can learn that how can you uh, upload CSV file from cloud. So friends, uh, first of all, you need to uh, visit your cloud console. So cloud console. Uh, if you don't know that how can create cloud console project, then I have a video link uh, I give in the description. Please visit that one and you can learn that how can you create. So friends, uh, when I open the cloud console, then um, you need to go your project. Like I have a different different project, so uh, I uh, when I on this one, then I, I need to choose uh, one of my project. So here, friends, uh, sandbox project automatically open because I assigned that one as a default. So that's why it's open. So when uh, this project open already, then you need to go to your uh, BigQuery. Okay, so I'm going to BigQuery. So now I'm already in my BigQuery. So here is my project. So I have different different projects. So uh, friends, uh, I have so many data set also. This is uh, data set using so many data set. So uh, one of uh, this data set, uh, I'm going to create uh, a table from my uh, cloud like GCP uh, storage platform. So uh, for that, uh, friends, uh, you need to do one thing that you need to upload your file to storage database like data to storage or data set so for that you can uh, come to navigation menu then uh, you can find uh, down here I already pin this one here but if you cannot find here then you can go down here you see here under under storage section you have a storage uh, option so you just go to storage option But friend, always remember here uh, you can upload only JSON, Avro format. Uh, so be careful about that. I have different different buckets. Okay, uh, um, I'm choosing this one, this bucket. You can create bucket from here, create bucket, and then you can select your uh, like uh, uh, server server uh, location, and then you can uh, create. So I have so many different different CSV file here. So uh, I take one of this file and then I create. Okay. So, okay, I show you how can create. So, you just upload. First of all, how can you create bucket? You just uh, create here bucket and then you need to choose the name, okay, name of the bucket. Then it will automatically uh, create name of the bucket. If you have a different bucket name and in your uh, storage uh, uh, platform, then you need to choose a unique one. Then choose this one okay continue continue and you select your data location then you can create okay as I already have here so I'm, I'm not gonna create a new one and here in this data set I'm gonna use uh, one of this file I have different different file here so friends, uh, when you upload you see here upload files so you click here and you can upload from your system okay this step from your system okay you upload you, you need to select and then open that's all okay but be careful uh, regarding file format json file and uh, only uh, avro format okay so and uh, csv format so when you upload file you check and then that, that the, your file format is okay now i need to go bigquery Okay, I already pin here BigQuery. If you cannot find, then you go down and then you can find. Okay, so uh, I'm selecting one of my data set. Okay, uh, okay, uh, I can select this one backup product otherwise. Okay, that's fine. Now, create table. You see here, when I select data set, then uh, I have option create table here. Create table, that share data set, etc. So now when I click create table, then you see here a uh, source, where, where is my source? Is upload drive, Google storage and Google cloud big table. So uh, I need to choose Google cloud storage. 
when I select you see I have an option for bucket option though so I need to browse bucket so I need to browse then I select uh, okay uh, one of this file okay I, I select this one MB19 so I select okay you see here this is CSV automatically is detected as a CSV so uh, the my project name is uh, sandbox okay and data set name is uh, this one and uh, okay the table type is native and external what is external external is basically a uh, uh, link link that one created for this this file type like this file if you have a daily uh, daily level increment file like this file uh, you update data every day so then you can choose the external table okay then your data will be updated data whatever data present in this bucket so it will show you uh, when you make a query okay but uh, now uh, this is not a updated uh, like a daily not daily level so I need to choose a native table okay then I need to give a, a name like uh, like PPP okay data okay then i select auto auto detect okay now if you if you have a partition table then you can do partition by uh, the time then you can select the date hour but i don't need to do so no partition then i need to go advance uh i need to uh skip one row because header I have a header so that's why I need to click, uh, skip the header so that's why I'm giving here one then I create table so you can see here you see uh, PPP data already created so let's see the table okay here's the table okay here's the table so I make query even, even you can preview this one you see when I preview I have already data you see I have a data you see I have a data here okay so uh, I can make a query but but uh, friends this one is a native table it's, it doesn't mean that every day it is update it's a one-time upload here if you want uh, every day uh, data will be append or every day data will be seen by, uh, here so you can choose uh, external one external one if you have any confusion or if you have any doubt or if you have any problem then you just let me know then I can teach you how can you create the external table okay so you see I can make a query here like uh, star or, or anything okay then limit chain or anything okay anything depend on you so you see uh, my my, uh, my query run and I have a result okay you see I have a thousand result okay so friend this way you can upload uh, your CSV file from cloud to BigQuery so if you have any problem uh, regarding that you just write down and comment uh, to my video and please subscribe this uh, video please subscribe this channel and uh, like comment and uh, share this video thank you friends